Hey guys, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to learn about how to create this amazing cinematic waking up eye opening effect. So let's take a look at what we are going to create. Isn't it amazing? Yes, it may look simple, but it's a lot more than that. You guys will be surprised what kind of details goes into this video so please make sure to check it out and before we begin our tutorial please kindly hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any amazing tutorials in the future and without any further ado let's get into it create a new project and i will name it as waking up click ok now we will create a new sequence go to file click new and select sequence I will use the 1080p XD ham HD 30 frames per second and yeah that looks completely fine click ok now we have to create the upper eyelid and lower eyelid for that go to this new item icon on the project panel and click on the color map click ok we don't need complete black for our eyelid it have to be a little brownish black yeah that looks good click ok and I will name it as upper eyelid click ok now bring this layer onto our sequence panel one layer above just like that now extend it you probably won't see that much since it's close to black to see our eyelid completely we have to create a new white layer under our eyelid for that again go to new item icon and click on the color mat click ok go to white click ok I will name it as white, click ok, bring this layer below our upper eyelid, now extend it, there, you probably won't see because our eyelid is above, that's blocking our white layer, if I were to hide our upper eyelid, you can see our white layer over here, now let's draw our upper eyelid, click on the upper eyelid and change the screen size to 25%, make sure you select the upper eyelid layer, go to effects and control panel, under opacity take the pen tool and make a shape like this make it as curved as possible yeah that looks good now change the size back to fit you can see our eyelid is have this little sharpness over here we have to feather it down a little for that in the effects and control panel under mask go to mask feather and increase the mask feather just like that as you can see it affects all of the edges and to get rid of it increase the scale just like that now bring it down in the rotation you can rotate it a little i will change it to one degree click ok yeah that looks good now we have to make our lower eyelid for that bring this upper eyelid layer on above and go to project panel select the upper eyelid layer and press ctrl c and again press ctrl v now we duplicated our layer just click on the upper eyelid and change it to lower eyelid yep that looks good now bring the lower eyelid over here extend it now we have to make a new mask for our lower eyelid again go to control panel make sure you select the lower eyelid layer under opacity take the pen tool now change the fit to 25% and start making the lower eyelid yeah that looks good now change it back to fit again increase the feather just a little now increase the size bring it here rotate it a little minus one degree yeah that looks good now we created our upper eyelid and lower eyelid let's start animating it as I said before, to make it more cinematic, we have to create that little eye twitching effect. Like the lower and upper eyelid twitching a little and our vision comes in slowly and after that we will make a full blink and after that it will be completely visible. Now select the upper eyelid layer, zoom in here, go to 1 second 15th frame and keyframe the position. Now go to 2 second and bring the eyelid top 
just like that if i were to move my time indicator over here you can see our upper eyelid going on top now we have to bring it lower again for that take the time indicator to 2 second maybe 8 frames and bring it down now that looks good and just like that we have to animate our lower eyelid layer for that take the time indicator to the first position keyframe select the lower eyelid layer and keyframe the position go to the upper eyelid layer zoom in a little the reason i am trying to trace the keyframes is because the eye twitching happens at the same time both upper eyelid and lower eyelid twitching have to be done at the same time that's why we are tracing the keyframes from the upper eyelid to the lower eyelid so we don't have to mismatch the time now take the time indicator to the second position keyframe now go to lower eyelid layer in the effects control panel zoom in a little now bring the position down just like that maybe rotate it a little bit now that looks good again select the upper eyelid layer zoom in a little take the time indicator to the last keyframe now go to lower eyelid layer zoom in a little now bring the lower eyelid a little closer to the center just like that yeah now let's play it and see the magic there yeah, that looks perfect we can smooth out the keyframes a little to make the animation look a lot more smoother right click on the last position keyframe go to temporal interpolation and select the ease out this will give us that smooth ease out animation now select the lower eyelid layer and do the same zoom it a little click out the last keyframe right click out here go to ease out now let's try it once again and see how it looks yes that's perfect now we can start animate the full blink of the two eyelids since our animation ends at 2 second 15th frame we will go to maybe 3 second 15th frame now select the upper eyelid layer now click on this add keyframe icon to make a keyframe as you can see this automatically created this bezier keyframe we have to get rid of this bezier keyframe right click over here go to time interpolation and select linear now that looks perfect zoom in on the timeline now go to 3 second 25th frame it's approximately 10 frame duration that's all since we want our blink to happen super fast that's how it is now go to effects control panel in the position bring in the upper eyelid as close as possible to the center yeah that looks perfect now take the time indicator to 4 second 10th frame and bring the position all the way to the back just like that yeah we don't have to see the eyelid anymore now take the time indicator to the first position keyframe and select the lower eyelid we will do the same thing so zoom in a little click on the add keyframe now select the upper eyelid layer zoom in a little take the time indicator to the second keyframe select the lower eyelid layer zoom it bring the upper eyelid as close as possible just like that yeah that looks perfect as you can see our first keyframe is in bezier let's change it to linear right click over here go to temporal and select the linear now that looks good now again select the upper eyelid layer zoom in over the control panel take the time indicator to the last keyframe select the lower eyelid layer zoom in a little now bring the lower eyelid out of our view just like that we will change this keyframe to linear right click over here go to temporary interpolation and change it to linear now let's play it and see how it looks that looks amazing as you can see we have a little eye twitch over here and full blink that looks super natural and it's amazing now if you think we are probably at the end of our tutorial we are not we are definitely not at the end of our tutorial we need to make a lot of things to make it look more dynamic for that we will delete our white layer since we want this waking up effect to happen someone before you or someone waking you up like that for that i have this little stock video i will bring it to the first layer now zoom in a little here I have this beautiful baby sleeping. We want this person to woke up next to this beautiful baby. It will be a little heartwarming. So let's play it and see how it looks. Yeah. 
that looks great but we need to add something as you can see both our upper and lower eyelid are half open and we don't need that we need little fade in transition from black to this eyelid so you can know he's coming to conscious after being asleep what you have to do right click over here click add tracks and i will add two more tracks click ok we will create a new black mat go to this new item icon on the project panel and select the color mat click ok we will choose complete black click ok i will name it as black now bring the black layer on top of all layers extend it select the top black layer in the effects control panel under opacity keyframe the opacity make sure your time indicator at the beginning zoom in a little since our eyelid animation starts at 1 second 15th frame we will take the time indicator to 1 second 15th frame and bring the opacity to 90 percent there why 90 percent because he's half conscious once he completely open his eyes he will be fully conscious in that way it can be a little more creative this is one of the few important things that you need to do absolutely necessary because it makes the scene more realistic take the time indicator now bring it a little to the right now bring the opacity down below around 48 yeah that looks good now take the time indicator where he completely blinks and opens his eyes drag it over here there this time looks perfectly good now click on the add keyframe one more time now bring the time indicator a little to the right yeah he completely woke up now change the opacity zero there once he completely opened his eyes he can see clearly that's obvious right Let's play it and see how it looks. There, that looks amazing. Now we need to add a little blur effect because when we woke up our eyes will be a little blurry and slowly it will transition to completely visible. Take this three layer and break it above one layer. Click on this new item icon and go to adjustment layer. Click OK. Now bring the adjustment layer below just like that extend it now now select the adjustment layer go to effects panel and type in blur take the camera blur under blur rush open place it on the adjustment layer go to effects control here we can see our camera blur we will bring it to 10 percent now take the time indicator to just before he begin twitching his eyes yeah right here keyframe the percent blur now take the time indicator after he finished twitching yeah we will change the blur to maybe around six yeah that looks fine this will give us that little blur flooding effect after he twitched his eyes now right click on the last keyframe and select is out now take the time indicator where he blinks completely move it yeah around when he closed his eyes completely click on the add keyframe now bring it here as you can see now his eyes are completely open we will change the blur to zero just like that as you can see this keyframe is in busier we will change it to linear right click over here and select linear we will delete this unnecessary extended layer highlight it take the eraser tool over here and cut it just like that now select all three of it delete it let's play it and see how it looks that looks amazing let's play it again as you guys see it looks super realistic and it's super amazing and if you want to extend the time of this black transition you can do that all you have to do just select these three layers and drag it a little to the right now make sure your black layer is selected now take the time indicator to the beginning of these three layers in the effects control panel now take this first opacity keyframe and bring it where our time indicator is just like that now that looks really good and just like that we finished our waking up effect wait wait guys before you go i have something to show you let's play it <laughs> Yeah.
Yes, that's it. I have created this project with a little more detail than the tutorial and it's really amazing effect. You can use it on your video from the get go. You don't have to do anything. Just take this sequence panel and place it anywhere in your video. Just like that. All you have to do is just click on the link in the description and it will go to this page and you can get this project for just $1. That's it. You don't have to do anything. You can use it on your video from the get go. Okay guys, we are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more amazing tutorials like this, click the subscribe button. Until our next tutorial, see you guys. Stay safe. Thank you.